Okay, so there's two major parts of setting up a mechanical testing system to minimize bending. The first one is measuring it, and the second part is doing something about it if you have unacceptable bending. So for measuring it, you typically need an alignment cell that might look like this. We have a separate video on alignment cells. So the idea here is this alignment cell is connected to a data acquisition unit, and we're looking at the uh, bending from the strain gauges on uh, an Instron provided Align Pro software kit, for example. So let's imagine now that I apply a load to my alignment cell and I measure the bending. One of two things is going to happen. One is that I have acceptable bending, meaning it's below a certain threshold, 8%, for example, for NAD cap and composites, or let's say it's above a certain acceptable threshold. If it's above a certain acceptable threshold, which is likely, what you'll see is that this load string is rigid. There's very little you can do about it. So what you need to do is have the ability to adjust this load string to compensate and minimize bending. That typically looks like something like this. This is an Align Pro kit, which fits between the cross head and the load cell and allows you to adjust angular and lateral alignment to minimize the bending in the specimen. The software shows that in real time and allows you to, in real time, minimize the bending in the specimen. When it's set up, it might look something like this in an Instron 4 model system where the Align Pro kit is mounted between the load cell and the cross head and rigidly mounted so that you can minimize the bending.